Welcome to the basics of operating the Structure Scan Mini. We ask that you have the GSSI Handbook for Radar Inspection of Concrete and the Structure Scan Mini Quick Start Guide readily available, as it will be your reference for step-by-step -step instructions on how to operate your system. To power up the Structure Scan Mini, insert the battery into the slot of the Mini. Make certain that the lanyard is attached and is in the locked position. Then press the power button. After a few seconds, the system will boot up and the splash screen is displayed. This is the main menu. Please note the information bar at the bottom of the screen. It contains vital user information for the unit. The green gray bar is a battery life indicator. The time as stored in the Mini is also displayed, as well as how much storage you have left in terms of available distance. To power off the Mini, simply press and hold the power button for approximately two seconds. Then you may unhook the lanyard and remove the battery by pressing down on the tab of the battery and pulling down. Note the buttons on the handle of the Mini. They will be referred to as left arrow, right arrow, up arrow, down arrow, and enter buttons relative to the screen. The enter button will always be the button located in the center. At any time unless otherwise noted, you may press the arrow button closest to the rear of the Mini to return to the previous screen or menu. This will also be known as the back button. The system comes with a GSSI strap to be attached to the back of the Mini. This strap should go around your wrist to prevent the Mini from being dropped. Let's look at the main menu of the Mini after booting up. The four options on the screen correspond with the arrows on the handle. For the purposes of this training video, we will focus on the 2D and 3D Structure Scan Mini systems. Pressing the Application option on the main menu screen will toggle between 2D and 3D collection mode. The 2D collection mode will show a profile on the line that is being scanned for the purpose of locating and marking in real time. To begin the scan, move your cart forward. Data is only collected when you move the cart forward. Once you start seeing hyperbolas on the screen, pull the system straight back along your survey line. You'll see a vertical line, which we will call the backup cursor. Scroll along your data. When that vertical line is right over the apex of the hyperbola, the center of the antenna is over the target. To mark targets of interest, use the side lasers or the side groove as your guide. Push the cart forward to continue with the line scan. No data will be collected until you have passed the spot where you started to reverse. 3D Collection Mode is an accessory of the Structure Scan Mini. The 3D Collection Mode offers an X-ray-like display of the scanned area, but offers depth as well as location of your targets. To enter 3D Collection Mode, back out to the main menu and toggle to 3D Mode. Place the appropriate size grid sheet over the area to be scanned, and using the grid as a guide, collect your data in 3D mode. Once the data collection is complete, the Mini will process and display the X-ray-like view. Please refer to the Application and Data Example section in your GSSI Handbook for detailed instructions. Congratulations! You have just learned the basics of setting up, navigating, and collecting using the Structure Scan Mini. There are many more elements to the system. If you'd like to learn about the playback mode or how to reset your Structure Scan Mini to factory settings, please review your Structure Scan Mini Quick Start Guide. Thank you.